Hi, today we're gonna show you two basic concepts that are gonna help you to improve your tactical game. As you can see in the example, the team who serve is the one who start dominating the point. They have more chances to win. And we normally say they have an advantage because when they serve, they start to play the point on the net. It's true for me, the team that is spending more time at the net is having more options to win the point. But the main reason why they have an advantage is because they can play from the top to the bottom. When we hit the ball for the first time in the service, we touch the ball next to our hips, and normally if my service is quite good, my opponent will have to play from the bottom to the top. This will give me a chance to play a high volley, a bandeja, a smash, or even if they play a really good love, I will have a chance to use the glass and play an aggressive shot as well. Here we can see both players playing from different positions on the court and playing different kind of shots, but only one has the chance to be aggressive. Let's pay attention to this. When I play the lob, I start to move forward and Roberto is going back, so I get the net. But when he touches the ball after the glass, he is playing from the top to the bottom. And this is exactly when he starts to dominate the whole point. So remember, if we play from the top to the bottom, we have more time to think, we have the chance to play with more angles, use more power, and of course we will get many more chances to win the point. But on the opposite situation, we are playing from the bottom to the top. It's clear that we cannot be aggressive anymore. So now, we should play without taking any risk and try to avoid that the opponent gets a winner. As Roberto said, if we don't play a good shot being on this difficult situation, our opponents will normally win the point, as you can see right now in the video. A possible solution will be to play a slow ball on my opponent's feet. This will not allow them to play aggressive anymore and will reduce their chances of winning. When they move forward really fast after the Chiquita, it's difficult to play back on their feet. We don't have too much space and it will be risky to try it. So another possible solution will be to play a fast slope over them. This will push them back and we will continue dominating from the net. It can also happen that our opponents play the chiquita and they don't move forward. In this case, it's important to play safe, over the net and far from the glasses or fence, otherwise we will play easy mistakes. Remember that even when we take the risk, it will be difficult to win. Normally, our opponent will control the next shot as you can see in the video. So, if they stay in the back, we should try to play an easy shot back on the feet if it is possible and we will continue working from the net. It's important to tell you that even when you play from the bottom to the top, there is a minimum chance to get the point. For example, if you play an amazing drop shot and the ball bounces and it goes away through the door, it will be a perfect shot. But it's clearly not the easiest way to win. Hey! Hey! What are you doing, man? But you didn't subscribe! Yes, I did. Hmm.